legit, last few minutes of the episode, I set this up. If you don't know me yet, spoilers. If you haven't seen the new Mandalorian episode, stop. Just stop. Go watch it. Then come back. Um... I was gonna say, this is kind of a placeholder episode, but not really. Um, we start with Mando at the beginning, then you got the whole middle with uh, Dr. Pershing on Coruscant, which I got goosebumps. I will say, of, of the first three movies of the prequels, oh, it's me. The last one, the third one, I think should have been two, and they should have done that. And the first one should have combined young Anakin with the clone stuff. Because it was... Everybody has issues. I don't mind them. I've not ever really gone back to watch Attack of the Clones. It is... And I haven't gone back to watch Phantom Menace. I have watched the third one, which I think is... It's not Revenge of the Sith. Is it? I don't know. Anyway. I liked Coruscant. I, I liked the concept. The beauty of it. It's a whole world, just literally... A city world. Um, I forgot what they called it in the episode. And, and, I, and this is literally right after the episode, so... Hmm. Um... But I loved that city, and in this episode, the fact that this city is level with the tallest peak of the planet. Oh, it was great. And then the joke she pulled on him. I mean, it was, it was a good episode. Um, I liked that they started with Bo-Katan, just sitting there staring at the water, doing the whole... Did I see what I thought I saw? Then her asking Jen, did you happen to see anything while you were down there? Yeah, so that was pretty cool. And then, you know, the, the they're really good at doing these fights. That was very tense. And you, I'm with her. I'm pissed. One, who the hell is who? Who ordered those ships to do that? John Favreau is really fucking good. <laughs> he really is. Uh, it, it's just these the Mandalorian episodes are so more engaging. I've watched a couple of episodes of Andor. I've got to go back and I've really got to sit through it. I just, the first episode didn't grab me. I, eh, eh. Uh, Obi-Wan, you and McGregor, of course I loved it. Um, I have no product in my hair, so it's like, ugh. Um, what was the one before that? Oh, Book of Boba Fett. It's Boba Fett. <laughs> Boba Fett. Oh, of course I'm going to watch that. I'm like with my daughter on that one. She loves Boba Fett. Um, so, but it was great. I had a weird feeling. Um, I'm switching tacks. I'm going back to Coruscant. Um, I had weird feelings about that girl, the communications officer. It, just how chummy she got with him. With Pishing, or L5-2, whatever he's called now. I was like... But then again, I'm like... The New Republic's fucking up. Uh, I mean... This guy is a brilliant scientist. Yeah, they don't agree with cloning, they don't agree with that stuff, but you find other aspects in his research that you can use. So, let him continue to research. You know, don't have him doing a stupid job that is going to make him kind of, you know, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this, you know? They, they, it's just going to, yeah. 
he's gonna flip and I think he's gonna flip like what my son said um, we know there's clones of Palpatine Snoke was a clone Are they setting him up to be that person? Uh, I'm wondering, yeah, there's that stupid little hair. Why don't I go back to get my hair cut? I was going to have him chop it off. He's like, snip. Um, so yeah, ew, ew, ew. I, mean, I, I think he's literally setting up stuff. So I like that. And then the end, because, you, you know, I mean, I'm still laughing over freaking Grogu going, oh, yep, boop, <laughs> uh, when Jen jumped. That, that was cute. So, Coruscant, so we had the stuff going on on Mandalore, then the escape after they, they bombed her home. Uh, and, and still, yeah, like I said earlier, who, who? Who, who? I mean, are they trying to keep the Mandalorians from going back to Mandalorian? What, what, why? 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 Um, and then the end of the episode, we end up back on that planet that we started the season on. And him going, here's the waters, we're proving it, it is the living waters. And the fact that bo has yet to take her helmet off. And they're accepting her. So it's like... Will she take her helmet off? Or will she accept this way of life until they all gather together? Because I know in the previews they showed in mass people jumping out of a transport. So are they going to go back to Mandalore and rebuild it? Um, and then if they do, are they going to be having to fight off the Empire? Are they going to ask the New Republic for help? I mean, and we've got several more episodes to go because we're only on, what was episode three? Right? Yeah, we're only on episode three, and I, there's, I think, eight episodes? Rob's just finishing the episode. Uh, so, we'll see. I can't wait. I'm, I'm, I'm like, so digging this. Uh, um, again, Favreau. So, see you guys next week for the next episode. Have a great day.